Observable events or phenomena occur in the natural and designed worlds. Students engage with different phenomena inside the classroom and in the schoolyard during science lessons. Engaging with phenomena is more than just observing an event. Students need to make sense of phenomena in order to understand the world around them. Engagement with and making sense of phenomena is a core part of FOSS. The one that's wet, it's bigger, and the one that's wet, it's like soft. But the one that's uh, not wet and dry, it's smaller and it's hard. Students compare a dry seed to a wet seed and observe the phenomena of seed growth and change. Through a guided discussion, they raise questions about those observations. What were some of the things that you observed? That the dry one is smaller than the wet one. The wet one is like soft, soft, and the dry one is small and hard. What questions do you have? What questions do you have? Talk with your group. My question is, if it's ripping off, crinkly, and why is it so like? Has Why is it so squishy? It's like it's soft, but on the side it's like hard. It has wrinkles. Oh. Okay, why is that part coming off? Why did it get softer and why did it get bigger? Okay, why did it get softer and why did it get bigger? The teacher modifies the student question of why did it get bigger to use as the focus question for the class. All right, what caused the lima bean to get bigger? Go ahead and talk with your group. Okay, so the water made it get bigger with the seeds. When they get big, they almost crack. But it's missing one thing, so it doesn't grow that big. It's missing the nutrients of the soil. Sometimes scientists observe some effects, things that have changed. So what I want you to do is make a T-chart, same page on 27, and I want you to write the effects Right here. What do you observe that change? When you look really close into the mag magnifying glass, it looks cool. The skin has a little texture. That is true. But like when you feel it, with, when you look like, at it, there's this. Like when you're really old. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, when you look at it through here, it looks like it looks like it has a lot of texture. But when you touch it, it's just like it's kind of smooth and kind of like uh, how would it say plastic. Look. The seed coat keeps it warm and the and the, the coat got wrinkled and came off. As I look at this dry seed and I compare it to the wet seed, I'm not seeing some of the effects. Okay? So I'm not seeing that the color changed on this one. I'm not seeing a wrinkled seed coat. I'm not seeing that this seed is growing, getting bigger. So I want you to talk with your group, I mean with your partner, about what do you think caused this? The seed got bigger because it soaked, because it soaked up the water. The question is what caused the color change? The point of using phenomena to drive instruction is to help students engage in practices to develop the knowledge necessary to explain or predict the phenomena. Therefore, the focus is not just on the phenomenon itself. It is the phenomenon plus the student-generated questions about the phenomenon that guides the learning and teaching. Students investigate questions about phenomena in order to collect data in their notebooks. Once data are collected, students have a sense-making discussion to analyze the data to answer their questions. You guys in your group, I heard you discussing that the seed got bigger. What caused the seed to get bigger? The water got inside the lima bean and soaked it up. Okay, can you write that down? What evidence do we have that supports their claim that the lima bean soaked up all the water. So before they were like hard and small and white and after it's big, soft and hard. 
and when you put it, when you, when you put it on the scale yesterday, it was um, only five grams. Yeah, it was only five grams, and when we put it on the scale to, today, it was um, twelve grams. So we know the sea got bigger, okay? And the claim was that the lima beans soaked up all the water. What is our evidence? Um, over overnight, all all the water got sucked into the the bean, and and it got bigger because it it, it, ha it had space in the bean, so it got in the water got in the bean. What's our evidence that the lima bean soaked up all the water? Because it was five grams, then the then overnight it w it was thirteen grams. Okay. And so what does that mean? It went from five grams to 13 grams. So it got heavier. It got heavier. So go back to your seat, and I want you to answer this question. What caused the lima bean to get bigger? Write down your claim, and then include your evidence. It is important that all students, including English language learners and students from cultural groups underrepresented in STEM, are supported in working with phenomena that are engaging and meaningful to them. Students often go outdoors to engage with phenomena in the schoolyard. These observations, such as changes in the weather throughout the seasons, can be supported with related phenomena exploration within the classroom. Are the trees moving a lot or a little bit? Oh, it's calm. calm. It's kind of calm, maybe gentle. Teachers can balance the FOSS embedded phenomena with local phenomena to truly engage students' scientific curiosity in the classroom.